Hey, welcome to day 62. No, wait. Yeah, 62. 62. That's how many days it is. I lose track of the days. It's hard to remember a number. Try that sometime. Think of a number one day. The next day, I don't know, do something so that you have to number it. And yeah, especially five days a week instead of seven. Maybe even seven. I don't know. Just anything we have to do, a consecutive number, and try to remember what the number is every day. You'd be surprised. Every now and then you forget what the hell day it is. Just like you forget the day of the week, I guess. Same thing, except for, uh, I never can remember what the hell number we're on. But, uh, 62 is what it is. 62. Um, so, yeah, we've done 6,200 push-ups now. Not bad, not bad. Tonight I was feeling a little tired. I, I did 80. I could have done probably over 90, I think. Uh, but I stopped at 80, because I figured I'd get a good uh, second set in. And then I did, uh, 45 more on the next set. So that was 125. As long as I get over 100, I don't really care. And that's easy. I mean, if you can do 80 in one set, obviously you can do at least 20 in the next set. <laughs> it's no big deal. But, um, it does illustrate the point that once you hit a certain plateau, that doesn't necessarily mean you have a firm grip on that plateau. You know, just because, uh, I did get 100 in a row, like, three or four times last week or whatever it was, maybe the week before, whatever that was, it doesn't mean necessarily you're going to get it every time. So you got to keep at it, you know, you got to keep going, and maybe this is just all part of another growth process or something, uh, I have no idea. I've been eating kind of junky lately, um, I know that, uh, I know that. I mean, compared to most people on earth, I guess, I, I'm not eating junky, I'm eating extremely healthfully, but, uh, based on what I know, it's junky, and what I mean by that is, um, I've just been loading up on nuts lately. I've been eating a lot of nuts. Now these are unroasted nuts. So they're fully, they have their, you know, their vitamins and minerals and their, you know, their full nutrients intact when I eat them, which means they're extremely healthy. You know, it's better than eating, you know, a handful of planters peanuts. That's, I'm sure that's a healthier snack than Doritos, uh, planters peanuts. But um, it's not the same as eating a handful of unroasted nuts, just as you might get like off of a tree, you know, and shell them yourself, like at Thanksgiving when you're getting all the bowls of mixed nuts. That's what's healthy for you when you get that kind of stuff. But the thing is, those nuts are also very heavy, even though they're extremely healthy. They're very heavy and they're, you know, they're loaded with a lot of fat and they weigh you down and they take a long time to digest. But, uh, you know, we've just been snacking on them because we ordered a ton of them. And, uh, so I I'm gonna give, I went out tonight and I bought a ton of fruit. I mean, I bought like, um, man, I must have bought six or eight pounds of grapes. Uh, I bought a watermelon today, two cantaloupes, five apples, four pears, a, a package of raspberries. Um, I'm just going to get back to eating a lot more fruit. I just feel better when I eat fruit. And uh, the music's a little distracting, isn't it, tonight? Yeah. Uh, that's uh, Sheila Chandra in the background. So, interesting. An early album of hers. She was like 19 when she made it back in the 80s. I wonder if she's still singing, by the way. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get back to just eating a lot of fruit. Friday will be an interesting day. I'll, I'll tell you something interesting Friday about um, the, the way that I eat and maybe start explaining some things about it after Friday. Because Friday is kind of, an, it's not that it's important, it's just a big, it would mark a one year anniversary of my following this, this type of lifestyle, so it uh, should be interesting to reflect on that. Nothing else new. Today's Wednesday. I'm glad the week's going to be winding down. Tomorrow's Thursday, day 64. Um, nothing else exciting to say. I, I will say that once I get to the point where I'm just consistently doing these 100 push-ups, even if I'm not you know, going all the way down like I should, where I'm consistently doing 100 the way that I do them, my plan is to then branch out into other ways of doing 100 push-ups, whether it's, you know, putting my chest to the floor or propping my hands up on some books or um, doing like a Hindu-style push-up, which I'll have to show you, uh, or doing maybe clapping for the first 50 or 20 or see how many I can clap, uh, some kind of variation. But I'm just trying to set the, the bar at a, at a certain level right now, and, you know, if that takes you know, 20 weeks to do, or half a year to do, then that's fine. But 
after that we'll go forward. So I hope other people join in and, and uh, do the challenge as well and um, have some fun with it. I'm having a good time with it actually. I also noticed, by the way, I've come to the conclusion that if you're doing these push-ups, if you can do it in one set, then you're not spending enough time exercising. I, I kind of realized that. It's kind of neat to be able to come downstairs and knock out 100 push-ups right in a row and then just go back upstairs. And as neat as that is, it just, uh, it's leaving something out. So I did add the, the, uh, um, the five-pound ball juggling a long time ago just to kind of work the biceps in addition to the triceps so you have a little bit more balance. Um, but even then, I noticed that if you're going to uh, do at least two sets of push-ups, you have a, a recuperation time in there where you want to wait between sets, right? You want to wait a couple minutes. So I noticed that it's not quite enough to fill it with five-pound ball juggling because you can only do like you know, 75 or 100 iterations of that, and that only takes a couple of minutes. So you really want to rest for a few more minutes. So I keep talking about this hula hooping. This is the perfect thing. To, to break up the three things because you work your arms the back of them then you work your arms the front of them for the juggling then you take a break and you do 50 one way with the hula hoop and then 50 the other and you can feel it on your abs a little bit which is great because you, you're getting a little bonus or if you don't have, you want to do a hula hoop you could do sit ups for example in that third thing then get back to you finish your push ups so I'm just kind of somehow you know very slowly developing some kind of routine here which is kind of interesting and it'll all be kind of scientifically based if you will because it's based on on experience at least my own subjective experience but at least it'll be grounded in something not just some random uh, routine that I came up with just off the top of my head it's actually it actually has a rationale behind it of why you should do these things in a row so that'll be kind of neat I, I would envision that maybe I'll publish that on my blog like in you know six months or eight months after I figure that out but now I'm just kind of screwing around and going with it. Um, so, again, this time I'm serious. I'm going to turn off the camera. See you all for day 63 um, tomorrow. And hope everybody has a good Thursday. Take care. This is Jim from GetDownToDoIt.com. It's back online now. And from PureJeevan.com, where I discuss raw foods and my wife discusses raw foods uh, five days a week on there. Challenging you to get down and do 100 push-ups a day. You know you can do it. Doesn't even have to be push-ups. Just do something every day, and uh, I think you'll feel better for it. I, you know, you look back, you don't regret it at all. You don't, never regret doing it. Sometimes I do feel tired. Sometimes I do feel like, you know, like lately when I've been eating all these nuts. I know I'm not. I said I was gonna go and I didn't. Even lately when I've been eating all these nuts, and I feel weighted down, and I feel like ah, you know, maybe I gained a couple pounds or something. I still feel good about the fact that I come down and do these exercises every day. So at least that's something. You don't feel like a total slob. Like if you slip up on your diet or something like that, if you have this exercise thing going on, even in a minimal way, like I do here, at least you have that. You know, you say, God, I, you know what? Yeah, maybe I gained a couple pounds, but hey, I didn't lose any momentum on my push-ups, my sit-ups, my five-pound ball juggling, or whatever it is that you do. You still keep that momentum. So... It's a good thing to have, you know. It's a good, it's a good thing to always have to be able to fall back on, uh, in my opinion. So um, it's just another added bonus of why this is a good idea. So this music is so loud, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, say good night to everybody. Good night.